Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the calculations, and there's, there's actually four calculations we're going to have to do. We're going to have to calculate the um, momentum, and we're going to have to calculate uh, the uh, uncertainty of that momentum, right? So I'm going to just show you how to do both of these things. And I, I like the calculator over here because, can we see that? Yeah, there we go. How about if I tilt that calculator? Can we then maybe see the display? No, that's worse. Okay. How about if I get rid of the, the fluorescent lights above my desk? I don't know. I'll, I'll tilt it so you can see what I type in. So, uh, momentum is obviously uh, m times v, and I'm just going to do gram. These are meters per second, so we're going to get momentums in gram meters per second, which are just fine. You just you just got to tell me what your units are. No fair not telling me. Okay. So before it was just the red glider moving; it was going that fast. So the momentum is. Uh, 309, uh, this is grams times 0.2296 meters per second, and that is uh, 71.15, right? I'm just going to say that that's 71.2, and this is gram meters per second. So this is before, right? And then after, it's going to be both masses, right? So 309.9 plus 143.1, and then the after velocity is 0.1556. These are grams, 0.1556, right? And so that's going to look like 309 plus 143.1 times 0.1556. And this is remarkably close. I'm going to say that's 70.5. Okay? But it's not the same, but the question, of course, is. Um, is our children learning? You know, the question is, are, do the, is there enough uncertainty? If the uncertainty is, say, you know, one gram meter per second, then certainly you know, that, that would be enough. So I'm going to show you how to calculate the uncertainty on the next one.